Hi guys! So I am doing my monthly product roundup. I can't wait to share with you guys some of the products that I've recently discovered and think are really, really cool and different and give one of you the chance to win all of them. So let's get started. Okay, so the first product is a lipstick. Shocker, I'm obsessed with lipsticks, but I am so in love with this one from Estee Lauder that I really want one of you guys to have it too and fall in love because it's just so beautiful. It's actually the color I'm wearing right now. It's called Commanding, and it's Estee Lauder's Pure Color Envy Matte Lipsticks. They have another one that's not matte, but I have fallen in love with the matte one specifically. The formula is so rich and pigmented. And also I found out that one of my favorite supermodels, Joan Smalls, actually helped collaborate in making these formulas. So I also think that the color looks so good on darker skin tones, and maybe that's kind of why, because she was behind it. But they're so good. Definitely a must have for fall. I think everyone in beauty right now is obsessed and raving over Korean beauty, also known as K-beauty. So I've gotten on the bandwagon too, I'm not gonna lie, and I've been trying a bunch of Korean beauty products. Obviously, when you think about fall, you think of bold brows, it's all the rage, and so I have been trying some Korean brow products. So this one specifically, I'm totally gonna bit butcher how to say it, because I have no idea, but 22, 22 Cho Sunga? <laughs> I think that's how you say it, but it's really cool. It sort of reminds me of Benefit Gimme Brow because it has that same mascara with the actual brow pigment inside of it, but it takes it to the next level because it has this sponge at the front that I use to kind of shape my brows, and then I go in with the part that looks like Benefit Gimme Brow and swipe through my brows to comb it out. I am just so obsessed. I think it's just so smart. It's kind of like a brow product on steroids. I love it. Okay, so now taking it away from the makeup and going into skincare, which is something that I'm really, really trying to get better at, as I told you guys before. Um, and I've been trying out new products, as always. I've recently been using the Glow Tonic from Pixie. So this is actually a product from Pixie that they have had in their history for forever. Um, but they redid the formula recently, and it's getting such amazing reviews. I was like, I have to try this. The whole point of the tonic is that you put it on a cotton ball and Swipe it all over your face day and night, twice a day. It's supposed to make your skin look brighter and clearer, which it totally, like, I see it doing, but I think the biggest benefit that I see from it is that I have these, like, dry spots on my skin, and after using this for a couple of weeks, I've noticed those dry spots kind of just go away. It's like those dead cells in my skin are, like, fading. It's kind of insane. So I'm officially a believer in the Pixie Tonic. I drank the Kool-Aid, I love it. So you'll be shocked to know, but I use a lot of makeup. And when you use a lot of makeup, you need a lot of makeup remover. So I've been using a lot of wipes, I use a lot of the liquid formulas, but recently I have been using this one from Claron. I first fell in love with Claron with their dry shampoo. It is so good if you haven't tried it. And then I moved into using their makeup remover and I love it for a few reasons. This one specifically works for eye makeup and face makeup. So it gets off the stubborn eye makeup, but it's also gentle enough for the face. It has this like corn flour ingredient in it that makes it really like soothing for the face. Also, this is kind of a lame reason, but I really like think it's convenient. I keep this thing on my counter in my bathroom and I just love that you just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And it's on there. You don't have to like pour and like, oh wait, I accidentally spilled it everywhere. It's just so convenient. Last but not least, it's from Dr. Brandt and it's their Oxygen Facial Flash Recovery Mask. I've been using this for, I think like two weeks now on and off, but um, they say that you don't see results from it till after two weeks, but I've used it maybe a week in total and I have seen results. I am really impressed with this product. I love Dr. Brandt products. was lucky enough to meet him when he was alive and he was just so amazing and everything he's done for like the biggest people in the world, like Madonna, Madonna went to Dr. Brandt. So if Madonna uses his products, then you know, it's good. And so I tried this mask on and the first time it was like really weird. It was this like foaming sensation and it like, tickles on your face and I was like, what is happening? But it, it's a mask that's only three minutes. So a lot of people were asking me sheet mask versus like um, a liquid mask. And honestly, I love them both. I think that this one's really good because it's quick and you feel the immediate kind of um, difference in your skin. I just noticed that my skin feels a little more firm and tightened and it's like this oxygen is just like being sucked into your skin. And I know that sounds crazy, but it is pretty awesome. So I'm excited for one of you guys to try this. So that's it, my roundup of my favorite products this month. Let me know, as always, in the comments below which one you're the most excited to try, and I will give one of you guys the chance to win them all, and I'll see you guys next time.